Because we have our own university game studio, we were able to bring in development expertise from day one. We started by prototyping the core mechanics and built up from there, testing with children every month or so. One of the key things was to make the game progression appealing, to make kids want to invest in playing it. That's what provides the motivation for the maths element. You earn resources in the game by collecting multiples of a given number. That's based on cognition literature. A lot of multiplication practice involves whole problems like six times seven. But we think learning multiples is likely to be more effective. When children practice in that way, they're developing a framework that helps them solve problems automatically. It really sets them up for the next level of maths education. When we were developing the learning content, we were conscious that seven and eight-year-olds have a real spread of maths ability. So we built in features that respond to the player's level of progress. If they keep missing a multiple, it'll appear more often, or we'll rearrange what they've collected in numerical order so that they can see where the gaps are. This happens subtly because we know from the research literature that confidence affects learning. We don't want to give players a sense of falling behind. They're still enjoying the experience and getting the practice that they need. When we started testing, we saw players making an average of seven months additional progress. They actually got better at division as well as multiplication because learning multiples helps with both operations. So the impact goes beyond passing times tables tests. It's about giving children the foundational knowledge that they need to do arithmetic and to progress to more sophisticated problems. In terms of development, we're working on a new visual style for the game and doing another round of testing in schools. We should have a final version on the App Store's early 2020 and this will open it up to parents and teachers around the world.